You know what's not a problem for kids who are seeking a good education? Drag queens, okay? Let me say this, drag queens, not only are they not hurting our kids, drag queens make everything better. Drag queens are fun. Drag queens are entertainment. Um, and you know what I'll say that was totally not poll tested? I say this, a drag queen for every school. That, that is what would be fun for kids and lift them up when they are having emotional issues. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Shalom Akim. First and foremost, giving all praise to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Kakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Shalom to the men of the Lord that are prophesying, preaching, and teaching in the highways and byways in sincerity and in truth. Shalom Barakatham. Door here. Um, and what you just heard was the latest madness coming out of the mouth of the serpent. All right. Um, this is uh, Dana Nessels, who is the, uh, I believe she's the mayor somewhere. Um, I think she's a mayor. Where is she a mayor at? I forget. Forgive me. Um, but she's a mayor, a person of, 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 uh, of high status in this society. But notice what they're spewing. It's, it just gets more and more ridiculous every day. Now, if, if, if it's not clear yet the reasons why you need to withdraw from this place, then you got to pray to the Lord and fast, man, because it's completely obvious, man, completely obvious. You know, we read this precept all the time, but I'll read it again here. Isaiah 3 and 9, it says, to show of their countenance do his witness against them. All right, and that countenance is really talking about the actual rainbow people themselves. You can just tell when somebody just, you know, not right. All right, but it says, and they declare their sin in Sodom and they hide it not. Woe unto their soul for they have rewarded evil unto themselves. If you have an entire month dedicated to, to this behavior, man. All right. Now they're they're telling you that 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 things that lead to death is what is what your kids need because for what? Because they're fun, but see, they demand you put your kids in, in these schools. You don't have a choice. You got something in America called truancy, truancy laws. All right. It says the action of staying away from school without good reason, absenteeism. Now, there are truancy laws on the books everywhere. OK, if you don't pay money or get your kid approved to homeschool, uh, they, they, they have certain laws that are strict. They'll, they'll pursue you, man. They'll lock you up if, even. All right. You can see the definition of it here in Kansas here. Um, it says if a student is truant on more than one occasion, then the consequences of a reported truancy can be more severe. Parents can be can be fined for neglect in certain cases, and they can be removed from their parents' homes and placed in the custody of the Kansas Department of Social Rehabilitation Services, where you know they're going to end up on, on the uh, black market. Your kid gets putting foster care, one of these child protective, quote unquote, child protective, that's a wrap for your child. But see, they're making that part of the criteria of, of going, going to school is this. Let's watch this again. What's not a problem for kids who are seeking a good education? Drag queens, okay? Let me say this, drag queens, not only are they not hurting our kids, drag queens make everything better. Drag queens are fun. Drag queens are entertainment. Um, and you know what I'll say? And she wouldn't have one of those motherfuckers around her kids, though. She's not going to let a grown-ass 45-year-old man we, 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 wearing anime costumes, basically, around her kids. She's not gonna, just going to leave them alone with him. But this is the fucking devil we're dealing with, man. She, she's pitching that because she knows they're going to be in Jake school first, man. You see, you see all the things the Lord is showing us that this place is completely done. It's through. Why your why your your help needs to be sought out from outside of this place at the very least. You should be asking questions about things. Why why haven't we come up? Why are we still poor? Why 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 are why are uh, men and women at, are at, 
are, are more separated than ever? Why are families broken up? Why, why, why? Ask the questions. Okay, now the scriptures have the answers to, ev to everything. But if you niggas don't want to listen to us, at least ask the questions. Wh where is this going, man? Wh where is this going? You lazy niggas, man, who sit there and vote for people like this who don't give a damn about you, man. As soon as, as, soon, as, soon as all hell breaks loose, these, they, she's got a spot in the bunker, man. She's got places. She's got backup plans. You don't. But you'll scoff at the men of the Lord for trying to for trying to uh, show you love in the sense of, of what the what the law says, man. The law, not not their arbitrary laws. You'll scoff at us for trying to trying to show you the right thing, man. This is Isaiah 29 and 15. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord Jehovah and their works are in the dark. And they say who see it thus and who know it thus. All right, because we know that this is not. This, this didn't just pop up. They didn't just come up with the idea for, for these people to show up at school and read your kids' stories. No, they didn't just come up with that. That there's an agenda, there's a plan behind it. All right, verse 16, the main point. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as a pot of clay. For shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not. That's what that whole movement is about. It's, it's just complete rebellion. Whatever the Lord made me, I'm not that. I don't know what I am, but they can't tell you what they are, though. Oh, I'm non- I'm non-binary. I'm I'm gender fluid. So they, that means basically they can't tell you what they are, but they know that they're not what the most high made us. Cause see, it's about it's a it's more about disagreeing with the Heavenly Father than it is about finding their own new identity. Because if it was about them finding their own new identity, they would have one. But they don't. It's it's fluid. It's something you can't nail down. It's non-binary. These types of things. But a woman will straight up look you in your eye and say, no, I know one thing. I'm not a woman. I know one thing. I'm not a man. You see? That's the rebellion we're dealing with. That's why the Lord is about to hit this place with fire. You niggas just lollygagging, man. There's about to come a day very, very soon where the Lord is going about to draw the line in the sand. And if you have any doubts... About what side you're on, you're going to be destroyed, man, completely, utterly. Continuing on, it says, or shall the thing framed of, say of him that framed it, he hath no understanding? You see? I'll get Psalms 94 and close this up, man. This is, this is, ugh. Psalms 94 and 2, it says, lift up thyself, thou judge of the earth, render a reward to the proud. And what, what do we have in the month of June? You see, what's going to be their reward? It says, verse three, Lord, Yahweh, how long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked triumph? Because they're winning. They can dictate to you whether or not your kids go to school, what they learn, who gets access to them. What kind of medical treatments they get, if you know where I'm going with that. Right. They dictate everything and they're bragging about it. They're openly bragging and boasting in their wickedness. All right, verse four, it says, how long shall they utter and speak hard things and all the workers of iniquity boast themselves? These are hard things that they're speaking, man. All right, when Joe Biden gets up there and spouts all kind of nonsense. All right, it says, verse five, they break in pieces thy people, O Lord Jehovah, and afflict thine heritage. And who are the heritage, the so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans? All right. It says they slayed the widow and the stranger and murdered the fatherless because the first thing they had to do was take the father out of the home. That's why all this lawlessness, that's why all this chaos is going on. So now you have a bunch of fatherless children and they're preying on them. The, 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 uh, the uh, human trafficking market is, at an, is booming, man, at an all time high. Where do you think they're getting those kids from? What do you think is happening? How do you think it's going to end? Y'all not even curious, man. This is ridiculous. Verse 7, it says, Yet they say the Lord Jehovah shall not see, neither shall the God of Jacob regard it. All right? So that's, that's how they look at it. It says, Understand ye brutish among the people, and ye fools, when will ye be wise? He that planteth the ear, 
shall he not hear? He that formed the eye, shall he not see? So the Most High is like, I'm, I created you. I gave you the ability to hear and see. You think I'm not going to hear and see the things you say? It says, he that chast chastiseth the heathen, shall he not correct? He that teacheth man knowledge shall he not know. The Lord Jehovah knoweth the thoughts of man what they that that they are vanity. All right. That's why we forsake our own knowledge and we, we go through the wisdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. But this this is uh this has got to stop, man. I'll end it there. Uh hopefully you brothers were edified. Call halal Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rachakwadash, Wa Ababa and Shalawan.